I had been looking for a job and my confidence was slowly declining to a point where it was like you couldn't even find it. I showed up at this job interview and I could not get it together. I was so nervous, didn't feel comfortable in my own skin. Well, at the point of this interview, I had put in about 40 applications. I had gotten like four or five different rejections, like not even getting like to the interview step. The day before the interview, my youngest son broke these glasses, the only pair of glasses that I had. So I had tape here and here. I couldn't find nothing to wear. I looked like a sausage in a casing. It was really crazy. I was scared because I knew my family needed me to get employment. I felt so hopeless and ashamed. When I walked into Dress for Success, I felt special, like I belonged, like a safe place. Ah. They tell you about all the wonderful services that they have, how they offered like a free eye care visit, glasses for free, beautiful clothes. They offered me hope. The clothes are important because they help a woman feel beautiful on the outside, powerful on the outside, so that they can internalize that. It's so critical to have an organization like Dress for Success to be able to lift a woman up and to have friends and supporters to circle around them and, and tell them, you are beautiful, you are worthy. So looking back to when you first came to us. When I came to you, I was a hot mess, <laughs> to be honest. I talked to women like Michelle and I remember, oh yeah, this is why we do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you look amazing. You're gonna rock that interview. Today I, I have a wonderful job. I'm in my second season with H&R Block. They love me, I love them, and it's amazing. What do I tell my daughter? I tell her she's beautiful. I tell her that she's special, that she's unique.